Craig Robson. I'm Professor of Molecular Urology at Newcastle University and the laboratory is the Prostate Cancer Research Group at the Northern Institute for Cancer Research. In the, in the body for cells to, to grow and divide, um, it operates almost like a set of traffic lights where um, a, a particular traffic light is, is activated, turns to green and the cell moves through the next phase of the cell cycle. In cancer what happens is that there are more green traffic lights and so the overall effect is that the cancer cells will grow more quickly and what we've discovered is that protein in prostate cancer cells which actually turns the traffic light from a red to a green and so essentially it means that the cancer cells are more likely to be dividing and growing more quickly than the normal cells. And what we're doing in the laboratory is we found that there are drugs which can actually block this protein from working. So essentially changing the traffic light from a green back to a red. What we're aiming to do in the longer term is to try to develop um, a new treatment for prostate cancer patients. We, we have a range of scientists who are working in, in the prostate cancer team. It's important that the scientists and clinicians work together. My name's Kelly Coffey and I hold a Career Development Fellowship. In a general day, most jobs for the morning tend to come in the form of looking after students and other members of staff, guiding them through what they want to do. And then later through the day I get time to think about where I'm going to go next with my research project and get some nice focused experiments drawn up ready to come in later to develop those further. A very important part of the day is lunchtime, believe it or not, because that's when you get to integrate with everybody else around the institute and it can be a good time to develop ideas with other groups as well, um, which we all regularly do. Hi, my name is James Gray and I'm a first year PhD student. We've got several researchers, so that obviously provides um, like a connectivity between the research researchers. A lot of the research can be shared amongst students and so it gives you that insight into what other people are doing and how that could potentially affect your own work. Aside from the patients themselves, probably the researchers and the clinicians are probably the people that know the most about prostate cancer and come face to face with it on a daily basis and so I think it's really important for us to work collectively as opposed to independently. My name is Alice Hartley, I'm a clinical research fellow here at Newcastle University. So I've worked for several years as a doctor and you see uh, lots of different patients with different illnesses um, but to actually make a difference in a developing treatment for them you'd have to be involved with lab-based research which is what encouraged me to, to take this up. Bearing in mind that when I started here I'd never held a pipette before so I've, I've come straight from the hospital and I, I know nothing about clinical research. The other members of, of the lab team that have been sponsored by Prostate Cancer UK have, have been <clears throat> a great help in helping me learn different techniques and enabling me to run my experiments. The advantages of having PhD students and postdocs are that they provide different levels of expertise to help the, the clinicians who want to do research in the laboratory. And the advantage of having um, clinical fellows is that these are generally doctors who have come into the lab, lab and have very little laboratory experience, but they help to communicate with the, with the scientists in the laboratory of some of the problems that um, prostate cancer patients uh, encounter with the, with the disease. And it sort of highlights to the, to the scientists what the, what the problems are and the sort of questions are that we need to, to answer. I think it's very important to be able to support people coming into the area. So mentoring is important in terms of trying to help people in the laboratory, to give them the support and encouragement, but also giving people career advice and trying to move things forward in that way as well.